Where do you find grants? These are all the sources. And I promise you my handouts match this exactly. So you'll have, how long is that sheet? Four pages? Four, we have a four page sheet that gives you links to all of these main areas. Don't put your eggs in one basket. Who did I hear that um, applied for a grant from a school? And um, so what was the name of that grant? It was a language revitalization grant. And so the state must have wrote it, or the school wrote it to the DPI, or? Yes. Okay. And so a lot of, um, don't think that you have to be the, hmm, how can I say this? In for-profit, we call it the prime and the subcontractor. Don't think that you have to be the grant, um, the grant administrator, the main one who runs the grant, because a lot of times that you'll get, who there's a health one. Um, what health one did you send me? Didn't Glitzy? Was it Glitzy? Glitzy got, one. Glitzy got a big grant from CDC. CDC, and and they when they wrote to the CDC, they must have said we're gonna. I don't know what it, what is it for. Did I, it's obesity. Oh, it's obesity. And so what they must have told the CDC in their grant application package. So Glitzy is the main grantee. They said we're gonna have the eleven tribes in the state or whatever they said. Um, write for their own mini grants of 50,000 each or 60,000 each to deal with their own community specific obesity projects. So that sold. So then uh, what I'm saying is you're kind of the second tier grantee from the main one who won. So there's different ways. Don't be afraid to look because a lot of times there's, you don't have to be the main writer, you know what I'm saying? The main writer for the big one. Mm 